Today we're going to go ahead and analyze powdered sugar to determine what the X value could be. So I've taken the liberty of pre-setting up the airjet sieve to show the sample, or at least the setup page here that is. Then we typically measure against the 75 micron, otherwise known as a 200 mesh screen. So we'll advance the system here. We will begin by pressing the button, weighing the empty screen, which weight will be displayed here. Once they match, press next. Now what we'll do is we'll put a sample on the screen and we're going to just try to use as close to 10 grams. Ah, we've got 11.1 .1 grams. Now we place the 75 micron screen on the instrument, put the lid, advance, and press start. As you can see, the material is being dispersed across the top of the screen. However, there is some of the ultrafines that are attaching to the screen, so it might need a slight tapping. The method that we're using is the pneumatic sieving principle, or aerodynamic sieving. As you can see, the particles are racing around the surface of the screen. Particles that are fine enough to pass through the screen, they pass through the screen. Okay, now that the air and the distribution of the material has stopped, we're going to press the next button, which activates the balance. We will take the sieve screen out, place it on the teared balance. Notice there's a slight powder on here. That doesn't matter because the balance has been teared. We're now going to take the weight. And we're going to accept that weight. Test is complete and the analysis is indicating it's approximately 95% less than 75 micron. What we're going to do now is to print the results. Because we utilize the single screen, you see the size in microns, the sieving time, the vacuum pressure that was achieved, which is what we set it for, our sample weight prior to sieving, and our sample weight after sieving, which accumulates to a 94%, 95% passing. Okay, now that's going to give an X value on your sugar, which is going to be approximately an, a 6X or an 8X.